name's Glenn. We're at the CheeseCon Show. We're going to talk a little bit about data acquisition. This is the GP20. These recorders are basically process type recorders. They're modular in nature. You can put as many input modules as you want in the back of this one, up to 10. Trend display. You can have digital display. There's a lot of different ways of looking at this data. Digital screen. There's a bar graph screen. There's even a custom graphic here. If you want to have custom graphics on your recorder, you can do something like that now. But one of my favorites is called a multi-screen, where you can have both uh, trend, digital value, bar graph, and also a message uh, summary log here available to you. All these recorders store their data in a secure, encrypted binary format that cannot be altered. So once something goes in the back of the recorder, or once something's done from the front of the recorder, it's there. It becomes part of a secure, encrypted database that's stored both in the internal non-volatile RAM as well as on a removable media, an SD card media down here. There's a 32 gig media in there. If uh, 20 channels log in every second, that media would fill every eight years. The recorder I want to talk about today, though, is our PMO offering. This recorder, as long as the recorder's got the S23 option, it becomes both 21 CFR 11 and PMO compliant. Because the PMO spec says once the recorder is configured and, a, and an inspector applies a wire wax seal to it, you cannot go in and make any changes on the configuration. You can't change the clock. You can't change uh, uh, the, the recording status. So you no, you'll notice here these icons are now grayed out. I can hit this all day long and nothing's going to happen because I, that's not available because the recorder is in a regulatory lockdown mode. You have the ability to go in and look at trend data. You have the ability to go in and look at digital values if you want. So there's a lot of different ways to look at these, de these values. But what happens here, if you if you want to go and look go back in time and actually see what happened previously, you can do that a couple of different ways. You can just scroll your finger across the screen and actually move that chart back and forth across the screen. Or you could go up here to a there's a little white slider box that you can drag and drop. And you can drop anywhere back, you know, days, weeks, months, go back in time, and you can drop that anywhere you want back in time and it, the recorder will go to that exact point in time. Annotate the chart. Let's go over here. Let's say I might want to point something out. I might want to say, uh, uh, I, want, I want to change the color of that. Maybe let's make that uh, blue. I might want to write look or something like that. I can save that annotation to that data file. And no matter where I go back and look at that data, that annotation is going to be in that data file. These recorders are standalone process recorders. They'll accept voltage, current, thermocouple, RTD, contact closure type inputs. And one thing that's really nice about the product line is you have a free graphic browser. So as long as you assign an IP address to this recorder, you can go to your laptop. All the trends that are in the recorder are displayed. The digital values on the recorder are going to be displayed there. There's the divert status of the PMO recorder. There's a graphic display here. Um, what you can do is look at horizontal bar graphs, bar graph type information, the status of, of your DOs, and also an overview screen. So that's real nice to have a, a pre-formatted graphic package available to you just by launching your browser.